Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a Toonly clip into Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Toonly and Doodly are cousins. Both of them are super easy to use, but they are standalone programs. That's not to say that you can't work with them together. As you'll see here in this little clip that I have, I have a little Toonly video playing inside of a doodly drawn television set. So how did I do that? Well, that's what we're gonna go over today. You may have noticed that the video quality was, had, it kind of left a little something to be desired. That's because this is not an actual video file. This is a GIF file. So that's an image format that repeats frame after frame after frame. And Doodly supports the GIF format. So what you need to do then is when you're in Toonly, export your video as you normally would as an MP4 file, and then convert it into a GIF file. From there, you import the GIF file into Doodly. Well, it might sound a little complicated, but really it's not that bad. So let's go ahead and open Toonly. And you'll see here that I made just a little clip of a guy waiting at the bus station for a bus. Really quite boring. Here comes the bus, and then he's gonna climb on the bus, and the bus is gonna go away. Okay, so that's my scene. It's not terribly exciting. To export it, I go to export, and I'm gonna choose 720 resolution and quality maximum at MP4. And I'm gonna choose export. Now I've already exported it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But that's how you export it. So open your browser and type in MP4 to GIF. And you'll find all kinds of different converters. I've used this one in the past, so I'll use it again today. And what you do is you just select your file, click upload. And here's a little preview. Now, before we click the convert button, let's just make sure we like everything. We want the original size, the frame rate of, well, let's go for 12 seconds, why not? And optimize for static background and assign more colors to moving parts, why not? And then let's go ahead and click the convert to GIF button. may take a while. This was actually pretty fast. And do we like it? It looks fine. If you needed to make any changes, you can do that here. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and that downloads it to my hard drive. So now we go back into Doodly and we are ready to import this graphic. So I have a new scene here of this guy watching a movie that's really boring. And here's his TV set, and that's where I'm gonna put my clip. So if I go to props, and I click the blue plus sign, and I browse for my files, it's gonna be in my downloads folder. And there it is, easy GIF, GIF maker. And I click continue. If I wanna give it a more descriptive name, I could certainly do that. we will say Toonly bus stop and give it a second to upload here it is let's go ahead and resize it it's just like any other photo that we would have uploaded you can work with it just like so my little aspect ratio is not quite perfect but it'll be okay for our demonstration today. Now, I'm gonna click on the pencil icon and I'm gonna choose fade so it fades in. Save and return. And now, let's see, at the end of the scene, now remember this was about a 15 second scene. Well, I have it, it being the last thing drawn or second to last thing, let's do that, we'll put it here. And it's gonna come on for three seconds by default. I'm gonna have it fade on for like a second. And then I'm gonna have this guy's thought bubble come on 
really fast and then he's gonna say this movie's so boring and then the scene ends well this is a 15 second scene so let's add some time at the very end to let it play out otherwise it's just gonna cut so now let's right click on that scene and choose preview and you'll be able to see the movement so here he is he's watching the video the guy's over here just standing there but if you recall, here comes the bus. And there you have it. That's how you can import a Toonly clip into Doodly. Thanks for watching.